What a wonderful Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. It's currently, I think, a little past nine. I am supposed to be at school right now, but I am not feeling good. This past Saturday, I had a eye doctor appointment to go get like my prescription updated, get new glasses, get new contacts, all that fun stuff. And my prescription didn't change at all. So I'm not sure why my eyes hurt because like I got a new pair of contacts, but they're literally the exact same ones I had before. But ever since then, my eyes have just been like so sensitive to light. And I, by the way, didn't get dilated because I know that's what happens when your eyes get dilated. Like all day at work yesterday, we have like these overhead lights that like are over each computer station and like over the watch bench so that way we can like see what we're doing and i just kept having to like turn off the lamps and like try to put myself if i can like in like a darker space because the lights were just like hurting my eyes even sitting upright right now just makes me feel like my head's gonna explode so driving i figured was not a good idea so i'm not going to school which is fine because i haven't missed a single day of school this semester yesterday at work though harry styles announced the date of his album and i'm so excited can't believe it's been two years since i one have seen him live and two that he's released music and now all of a sudden we're just getting all this hairy content after being deprived for so long december 13th is now the new christmas as i saw on twitter so yeah that really made my day yesterday but anyways today i have work that's it <laughs> okay what's up oh hi we're rolling <laughs> so maddie's gonna take over because i don't trust myself you want to tell them anything interesting? Hey guys, what's up? So I'm living with Tati. So she moved in. I never said that. We're going to Panda. Yes. And we're going to do a little mukbang. Mukbang. And we're going to get her her coffee because she's been craving a pumpkin Bro. spice from Dunkin' out of- Oh shit. <laughs> out of all places. That's about to be me, guys. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. So Madi went to sleep at what time? Mmm, good question. I think it was like maybe 2.30. And you woke up at 1.30? Um, yeah. <laughs> About? Something like that. We chilled, talked some smack, and then we came to the conclusion we want some panda. Hold on, please. Just one moment. All right, go ahead and take all the time you need. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Uh, should I do medium or large? Whatever you go feel like you bubble. need. Let me get that large, baby. A large pumpkin spice iced coffee, extra pumpkin, no sugar. Say it one more time. Extra pumpkin, no sugar, just pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice coffee? You wanna say that? I feel like I cannot. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Can I do a large pumpkin spice iced coffee with extra pumpkin and no sugar? Yes. You want cream? Yes, please. Oh, look at you, right on the Oh, I screwed up way too far, sorry. I didn't realize I kept moving. <laughs> You're supposed to be holding this. Right up here. Thank you. Thank you. You as well. Oh, nice, nice. Hold on, guys. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God. So Maddie's been begging for a pumpkin spice coffee. I hope it's everything I've been wanting for. Now we're driving to the next town over to get some Panda Express. How sad. Good. Do I smell when you're just not telling me? What's up? We just ordered our panda and we're gonna do a little mukbang. I've never done like a proper mukbang. Why the fuck you lying? One, two, ah. I'm really convinced I should be like a food connoisseur. Like I should just film mukbangs for the rest of my life because I'm so, I'm such a foodie and I can just talk all day. I feel like I could be a food critic, but like my ass doesn't cook. I burnt pancakes trying to make them the other day. Girl, you? You know what soup by the sausage chon is? Mm -hmm. Basically soup with like sausage, like chunks of sausage in it, okay? I was in Chicago at Monique's house. Mind you, she cooked the soup by the sausage chon the day before. So the next day, I'm home alone, she's at work, and she tells me, Madi, um, can you warm up the the, sa the soup by the sausage chon, right? And I'm kind of confused, I'm like, well, I don't know how to make that. Like, what is she, talk what is she talking about? Because mm -hmm. I didn't know she saved it. She goes, put it in a pot, add some water, I'm low, and just wait for me to get home and I'll just t add some like touch like final touches to it and I'm like okay I didn't see that she already had it in the in the fridge right? she just put water on the stove I took a pop and I took a large like linked sausage like a hot dog looking <laughs> thing you're lying and I put it in the in the pot and like she said add some water <laughs> I added some water right but the thing is is add out as I'm turning on the stove it's a gas stove and it's kind of old so it wasn't turning on thought the why did I go like this? Pretend this is a stove and this is the burner. Mm -hmm. I go like this. 
to see why it's not turning on and I'm twisting the knob and all of a sudden the flame came out so far because I guess I had it on high and it burnt my little grenias and the whole house smelled like burnt hair and I'm like oh shit and then Monique comes home and she goes oh are you warming up the soap by the sausage channel I'm like yeah it's in it's on the stove literally the sausage was burnt like it sucked up it sucked up all of the water in the pot and it was just like a sausage in water <laughs> i literally thought i was doing something like okay but like literally me so if i was she mad she was like what the hell is this it's like you don't eat that oh i guess i'm just the only one on the way here we were playing sad songs and oh. madia was just all in her feels unlike other people she doesn't mind listening to sad music and crying which i appreciate because i love sad music it's like if you go through my music like 90 percent of my songs are just like all sad about heartbreak finding yourself losing yourself blah 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 blah. which is funny because i feel like i've never had my heart broken i've never been in a relationship so like i'm like the most untouched person from all of that yet it's like my favorite thing to listen to and most people when i try playing that kind of music is like turn it off can't do it too sensitive and then it hurts because that's like all i listen to i feel like listening to that type of music though it helps me like realize and just let go a like, cleanse yeah be more like body we have so many old videos it's embarrassing we were going through them yesterday dear god i was saying how it's so funny in the moments of like all those vlogs i'd edit them back and i remember being like oh i look so good like i was the shit like this is popping and then i look back at it and it's the complete opposite like, damn what the hell was i thinking for real like i feel like i was just like hallucinating like i don't look like that you know how they say you're not what you look like in the mirror because like what you see yourself as and not what other people see you as that's a perfect example except i was the fool looking in the mirror <laughs> i thought i was looking bad for my homecoming girl i look like somebody y'all do <laughs> and like weren't there girls that like you didn't really like that were kind of like there they were jealous because I was dancing with that girl. Remember, and then they all went to, into the bathroom or whatever. They was just hating because I had the sauce. Apparently, you have the sauce then. I have the sauce like this chicken. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for real. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? I'm like, my thing is, bro, my hair was so short. It was really short. It was so short. Your ears. <laughs> and I still had the sauce. <laughs> Nobody could tell me. And I looked so bad before my braces. See, I could say, like, now. I look good. Like, this is cute, whatever. But I feel like five years from now, I'm gonna look back and be like, next. Thank you, next. Do I look different? I feel like you look more mature. Like, you grew into your head. <laughs> my teeth. <laughs> that too? <laughs> this used to be my spot when I would eat on my lunch break for work. For 30 minutes, I'd had to rush my ass when over, over here. here. I would drive over here and pray to God that the line wasn't long. Because if the line was long, I'd have to just go to Taco Bell or something and get like a dollar burrito. I eat so unhealthy. It's so like sucky how the cheapest foods and like the most convenient foods are the ones that are the most unhealthiest and disgusting. I think I would get like a, a dollar bean cheese burrito or something from Taco Bell, which is like not terrible, but like, I, mean, I guess like bean is better than the beef because I don't really trust Taco Bell beef. I got put onto their mini chicken quesadillas. Oh yeah, on the, the cravings menu and the three layer nachos. I like it because it's a mix of honey mustard and barbecue, which is my two favorite. <laughs> that was strong. <laughs> Have you seen those memes of like McDonald's Sprite be like? And it's like, like some crack, yeah. It's like exploding in your stomach. It like burned like the yeah. back of my <laughs> Pick a fortune, any fortune. I'm gonna put them in my hands and you have to guess. Okay, I'm just gonna, you gotta mix them, mix them. Pick a hand. Where is it? Left hand, I mean this hand. Okay. This is going to determine yeah. our 2020 year. The key is, you have to eat the fortune before you read the cookie for, I mean, no. <laughs> you have to eat the piece of paper? You have to eat the cookie before you read the fortune for it to become... Real? Yes. I had no idea that was a thing, but let's do it. Okay. Sometimes our cookies are stale, though. Yeah, you gotta eat the cookie. <laughs> I have still have to eat it. No. <laughs> that is shitty. How do you miss putting a piece of paper in a cookie? I was so excited too. I was about to be like, oh my god. I was like, oh my god, I'm so about these. This is gonna set up my mood for 2020. Apparently, there ain't nothing happening for me next year. So let's all focus in on Maddie's fortune since I don't have one. Or you read it first. Oh. <laughs> This is gonna be my mood 2020. Wow! Big things. I feel like that's exactly what you needed to hear. My crusty nails don't get <laughs> <let> me. <laughs> oh my god. This is cool. 
squirrels one is gone what is going on first out of the fortune second these squirrels are throwing their nuts the at my car damn that squirrel was a macho arm that was rough i already have a crack in my windshield i don't need another one god said all right cut that shit out right now I like this, okay. I'm sad I don't even have one. There's nothing in my future. No traveling for you? No traveling, no boyfriend. I already predicted I'm probably not gonna be in a relationship until after I turn 21. That's just my prediction. I'm not a very dating kind of person. Mm -hmm. Although, let me check my hinge. Someone said, this is great. He's a football player. <laughs> What's the name? What's the app called? He likes <gasps> horses. horses. Oh my god, hold on, no. Damn, that horse is like almost as big as a freaking horse. <laughs> What? You said that horse is almost as big as a horse. No. What do I say? The Halloween costume was great. I almost started typing that. I'm so bad at this. Oh, wait. This is great. You look great. Winky face. We're so back. we're on battery number three. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this one starts flashing. Have you ever had a Panda Express cookie? No. You can get the broken ones and signing it a fortune. Oh, that is all they're soft. They're soft. These are better than Moe's. Moe's is pretty good chocolate chip cookies. That's it, guys. I'm changing my channel to be a mukbang channel. This would be so good with a cup of milk. Almond milk? Yeah. No. <laughs> your face. Oh, I just had milk. this random idea or thought. No. But how they're always like, what's your dream collaboration? Who would you want to collaborate? I feel like for the longest time, I would say David Dobrik. But recently, I've been watching Joe's. Joe's teeny weeny. I don't know any of these people. You don't watch David Dobrik? Within the time that you're at my house, you're going to turn into me. Oh. Why that? We watched David Dobrik. What was your final opinion? He's funny. 10 out of 10 recommend. I feel like I'm dying by the second. So we're gonna end this muffin here. We're watching The Notebook tonight because you've never seen it. All right, we're gonna go listen to more sad music and do what we normally do, which is cry, right? Yeah. I feel bad. My chest is starting to hurt. Hi guys. Um, I know I have not been vlogging at all, like a lot recently. Truthfully, I've just been in a routine of going to school and going to work and I haven't really been up to anything fun and exciting in my opinion that is worth vlogging so I just haven't and I also haven't been wanting to vlog because my whole camera situation. You guys know my whole camera situation. I got a Canon M50. It fell off of my friend's bed and landed on like the lens but like it still worked perfectly fine afterwards like it was doing its thing and then I went to go lock the lens and it got jammed some way. I had been wanting a new lens anyways for like the longest time and I decided this would be the perfect opportunity. And the one I ordered is a Canon 11 to 22 millimeter. So there she is, beauty in all her grace. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and we're gonna switch over. This is the new camera. This is the new lens. This battery's actually dying because it hasn't been charged in like literally a month. Wow, you can see so much more of my room. I don't know if I like that. I feel kind of exposed. Wow, this is amazing. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm so far away. What do you think of the new lens? Do you like it? I'm so excited. You guys have no idea because I have like been feeling like I'm in this rut where I don't want to vlog and I honestly think it's because I just didn't have like my camera. Like it's just not the same vlogging with my G7X. I don't know. I'm so stoked to have this lens now. Say hello to the new vlog setup. What the, do, you, do you guys, what is this? This is so weird. Oh my god, there's so much in the frame. Wow. Hi guys. I didn't say no. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh my god, hey. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? I don't know that joke, so I'll just say hi. <laughs> Story time. She was telling us, she's like, I'm gonna meet Harry Styles at some party. I don't wanna meet him at a meet and greet. Like, I wanna meet him, like, and be like, <laughs> are you gonna meet so him? casual. She's like, I'm gonna make it and be famous. And she was saying, like, it's gonna be casual. She meant for it to sound like, this is how she wanted it to sound. She's like, I'm gonna walk up to him and be like, oh my god, hey, what's up? But even just the idea of it made her so nervous that when she was telling the story, she said, oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> We're at a sunflower field. You can see so much. I'm not used to this lens yet. It's kind of. I feel like I have to do that in every one. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take pictures and take pictures. So here's the thing. I'm gonna be able to pull them out. To pull it out of the ground. Do you want to take a picture next to it first? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is um, <laughs> this not is ideal. So uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> it's like 
burning my face. Yeah? <laughs> Not when I'm feeling good. I feel you good. Burn -na 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 -na. You know if I'm a burn -na 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 -na. Oh my god. <laughs> you see what? <laughs> you can see so much of my boobs. Your car. Oh. So now you have to clean it. Listen. So this just turned into a fun fall weekend of going to take photos in the sunflower field and Jonas Brothers and tasting the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I should have asked what was on it. Um, pickles and I think that's it. <laughs> okay, this is not a pickle. This is a f***ing cucumber. That's it's huge. Pickles are cucumbers. But it's huge. Do you see how thick it was? It's crunchy. This tastes like Popeye's chicken on bread. I see you might mayonnaise or something on here. Do you like it? I don't hate it, but I don't see what the hype is about. Is chicken on here better than this chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A? You don't like how crunchy it is? I kind of like, my favorite part of the chicken from here is the breading, so I think that's why I like it. If I had Chick-fil-A sauce, the with it, the taste of this just makes me feel guilty. Why? It's like too crunchy, like it's all just fried. Goodness. I don't think it's worth the hype. I mean, it's good. So there's just mayo and pickles on it? They say the spicy one is the one that's the, you know, I don't like spicy, so I don't think I would like it either way. Now, if I was to think like, oh, I'm hungry for a chicken sandwich, would you still go to Chick-fil-A? I, I would, would probably go to Chick-fil-A because I can get it for free with my points, but I would probably come here. I can eat Chick-fil-A like three times a week and not feel guilty. This, this makes me feel guilty. This makes me feel guilty now, but like I couldn't eat it as often as Chick-fil-A because then I would start to feel guilty if that makes sense. Like it's not a frequent type of sandwich, you know? You look so beautiful though, thank you. How are you? I, th I can't read someone's tone of voice. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I don't know how I am. I don't know how I am. <laughs> you're such a goof. It's my middle name. Talking about goof faucet. That down goofs it. I'm more impressed with that mac and cheese. Yeah, I didn't, okay, I always thought for the longest time Popeyes didn't have mac and cheese because KFC is known for their mac and cheese. But I don't like KFC's mac and cheese. Yeah. I like like creamy mac and cheese like that. I rate this 8 out of 10. Chip Bush still wins. This is like a once a month type of thing. If I'm gonna come to Popeyes, I would get the sandwich. Oh yeah, I'd get the sandwich over their fried chicken. Over anything else on the menu. It is good. But if I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A or Popeyes, I'd go to Chick-fil-A every time. The fries are way better at Chick-fil-A anyhow. Chick-fil-A sauce. I see how you would like the fried thing, but like I like that chick fil A food is like more it's fried in peanut oil, so it's healthier. I don't care about healthy. I feel like crap after eating this. Very greasy, no, I'm and very too. fried. I might vomit. I might fuck around and throw up later. Where did my sandwich go? Oh. Patrick, you ate it. I did it. That concludes my review. I'm gonna go home now, do homework, and then tonight I'm going to Nicole's, do a little project, but most do homework, but tomorrow we're seeing the Jonas Brothers. Wow! I'm excited and I have to have all my homework done by tomorrow before we leave so comment down below if you like this lens because I'm still not used to you guys being able to see my whole entire arm like look at that thing she long <sighs> bye <laughs>